see which way G2 want to throw it. The Cademus wants to get putting itself behind very much the same philosophy as that Bandit Band. It's a little bit of a different go down in sight. Maybe recoverable though. Gonna try and seal up the wall, but Pambo be finally gonna try and step up. Benja holds it down in Geisha, and JR will take him this plant. They'll start it now. It's going to be Overwatch here from Canadian, but quickly dispatched from Alamau, and that'll be a three through and landed in the correct spot. He was still mid pull on the goo mine, but just couldn't get the job done. Panba and NJR, the master blur, not done yet with his aggressive swings, though. Leaning into it, finally getting revenge here as he knocks out Panba. Process, but still keeps the presence going. Sky's making up the difference, and as does NJR. He'll find the double on this round. Alamau to take out one with the EDD, but he gets the spray through the wall. Sky's no! Oh, for Goes for a some important drones, and the round is practically over. Dark Zero has to try and fly in blind, and Bamazoo's now gone. So as you can see, Doki has a mirror window on the other end of it. No safe path forward from there. But Benja just walks right up. Skies has the. He can be on some dead friends here, but. Dark Zero's looking for some dead presidents now. Canadian clutch to deal with. You have the mirror windows, you have Benji on the counter angle here. Canadian, he knows he's gotta be somewhere over there. He pre-fires okay. the toxic babe down, but at this point in all, honestly, the attackers may choose to challenge it forward anyway. They go for it. He's able to go one for one at least. At the same time, a lot of his teammates have been battled out. He'll go for the jump. It's a long drop with unfortunately a Claymore sitting at the other side of it. So he also goes down one for one. Dark Zero with the edge, and now a potential shutter as far as we're concerned. If they do want to try to pressure us, Benja gets the down against his initial opponent. It, trying to work their way in through Samurai does not end up working out though. Virtue also stole away one of their own teammates. Where's that plant coming down? We have not seen it yet. And with that timer, confirmation onto the Geisha player. He's just toying with them now. But Benji goes a little too low there. Pops his legs out. Panma finds a second response. Kill. Standing finally got his first kill there a few seconds prior. But Doki stops it from going any Pretty unique as well. That's going to be the smoke gone. Big frag grenade and JR gone as well. No real preventative maintenance here from Dark Zero now. They have some impacts, but those two players. No, <laughs> set on that fire. Try and slow things down similarly. Now we're watching G2 execute towards the beginning of this map. Unfortunately, they have not. to peel it back, but there's no guarantee they can get those players in position. Panba goes as he also runs into a Claymore during the process of that one. Skies left alone. Now, to be fair to Skies, He's been in this situation before, and he has managed to come out on top of quite a few of them. This one, though, going to be a little too much. G2 making incredibly quick work of map number one here. As they going to be Kaid instead, and I mean, perfectly, perfectly making sense, right? It's bank. You're worried about hatch play. Blur similarly will take down Canadian in a separate fight. Doki's still a menace. Meanwhile, he worked himself all the way up to the second floor for those who have another kill. Nitro chucked out. Skies will be able to avoid it, but now he's burning out inside of all the gold. Crawling around here, working uh -oh. himself back to the window with the hop out as well, has the spray on NGR. Don't believe NGR. I think Virtue's playing it, he's playing the angle. Oh, okay. Pamazoo finds him, but he's like low he is. Me, right? Oh. He's on the shield, Skies' his teammate, almost oh. dead Skies, <laughs> battles back. Uppercut that was so needed, but now G2, they're getting away with so much Canadian dead in the mountain, he doesn't matter anymore. Oh, Virtue again, no way, no way. Time and time again, they're getting punished by these. With just far too many variables to account for in trying to counter those types of plays. Out just like this, once again, Doki, being allowed to run wherever the heck he wants, basically. Pops back out from the teller's door, grabs one. Yeah, Canadian will be able to exchange him out, but look at the situation sitting before Canadian. Good grapple there, as he is able to Wrestle back control that gunfight for the second kill. But again, it's just a lane. And that continues to this might be run it. forward. And indeed finds a winning angle to take down Alamo. There we go. There's the forward play we needed to see from Giveni as well. This additional time on drone seems to have paid off to scout out the early aggression. Four kills. The second quarter of this game as Blur obviously up against the world here. Picks up the first one. Not gonna be able to get further than that. JR, those he's gonna need to try and body every member that rotates through. NJR with a big pickup. He'll drop in behind the patience play. They don't know that he's here. He'll be no. They're gonna lead into anything. Benja with the spot certainly catches skies. Panba is gonna get the first actual kill though. Knocking out, of course, multiple members of the team. We'll continue to see Dark Zero excel here. It's finally they get the plant. High on the kitchen desk, and will succeed in doing so as Pan, but claims that it fun. is caught out here. Doki with the drop going in, and a second one now claimed by Alamau. While the plant, as it leaves the site, wide open for the taking, and the planting apparently as G2 sealed the deal. Skies as well. Skies 
hasn't been able to hit his shots when it comes to this game so far. Doki with a big kill. Rather, Gab on to found a single soul. They're going to jump over on square, try and force themselves inside of staff. Big kills from Canadian and Deer, but now they're going to be able to work their way in. Nothing covering this. He's going to be able to cover the backdrop. Oh, a nice rotation. And JR will shut one down, but Alamau's there too. G2 sneak in the back door. One remaining. It's Skies, and he's got three to find. Goodmind's going to give it up once again, and this might be it. Yeah, hopped over. So unfortunate for Skies. The last through it. He's going to step up to it. He's he's it. Oh, he's oh, dead. And Gavini kicks him. But Benja fires Entering an open area. Gavini with a nice angle. This might be it. He'll get it. Dark Zero. Do they stay alive? It. A little bit of damage going on a pan, but Blur ends up walking directly into a cap can trap as he tries to work his way through. Teller doors, loses half of his HP from that, and Sky seals the deal. Done either way from Pan, but indeed gets a little bit too close to Alamal, tests it, and unfortunately pays the price. Replace Nitro there, gets taken out by it also. Pan, but continuing to also excel as Doki triples. And that's going to be the round going to Dark Zero. Virtue going to keep the positive KD, but he'll give the round to DZ. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't want it. Oh no! What? How? Alamal! You couldn't do that again. He might. But Benja, he's looking for him. He's found him. It's a flawless round from G2. Alamal sprinkles fairy dust over the last round.